Good morning everyone, welcome back to us play Civilization 5 as Rome. In the previous episode we've been attacked by the Zulus, who, well, rampaged around and pillaged a lot of my stuff. Fortunately they decided, after losing a couple of units, to peace out. And that's really fortunate because uh, it's been, it will be very difficult to actually kill all those guys with all my army being on the Ethiopian border. So another thing we did uh, recently is taking Adwa. And after taking Adwa we have an open uh, direction towards uh, Addis Ababa and we have to take Addis Ababa that's like the best city in the world right now and I cannot uh, let anybody other than me have the best city in the world obviously it has 10 wonders I think or maybe 11 wonders let's actually take a look oh I actually have a spider so where's my spice spies are here so we can take a look at the city so it gets, has a uh, Borobudur Colossus Globe Theater Hanging Gardens, Himaji Castle, Leaning Tower of Pisa, Notre Dame, Red Fort, and Stonehenge, and they will probably and they're building Louvre right now. So this city is just amazing, and it will be mine. It's very simple. So let's press next turn. I hope this is the last attack of the Zulus. Zulus attacked me twice already. First time they attacked Neapolis, then they attacked Rome. Every time it's really difficult to actually defend myself because. I don't keep random defenses uh, on every border, just in case somebody might possibly attack me. Uh, blatant attack on your interest. Uh, what is this, a world fair? I think I proposed a world fair. No, world fair already passed, so I don't even remember what I pr proposed. Does it truly matter? Malacca 6 investors? That sounds okay. They're only my allies, so I don't really have to pay them anymore. Okay, let's actually open the thingy. Oh, railroad, yeah. Modern era, amazing. Oh, and now I can actually research something new. So, what do we want? Uh, there's a rocket artillery, <laughs> which would be nice, but this is quite far away. Uh, I guess I could do archaeology and biology fast, just to reveal oil. I could go for flight. Because I'd prefer to have flights before everybody else. I could go for combustion and actually upgrade my... That sounds lovely. Okay, so let's go for oil. Because, I mean, combustion is useless without oil anyway. So let's go for oil. And after that, we could go for Eiffel Tower for some happiness. Or refrigeration for... Uh, let's go for oil first. I mean, this is oil is definitely def useful. And what we're going to get after oil is quite negotiable. So this is still 7,000 uh, pips. Uh, we are going to wait until this gets to maybe... Is this my guy? Oh yeah, I captured this guy just now. Right, so let's get everybody back to civilization. Where is everyone? Japan, I don't really care about. And where... Which units are the most important units? Okay, just go there. Uh, I will position them for the war. The war is going to come quite soon. Right, so railroads. So I will start building railroads everywhere now. Oh, I have much more important thing. I need to repair the damage caused by the Zulus. This is way more important than railroads. Because it breaks all my city connections. And without city connections... I... My money is really poor. Like, it's really dreadful. So let's go back still building. Okay, now it's done. Artillery. What are you building now? You're building a cavalry. That's fine. We're gonna upgrade them to land ships in like 15 turns or so. Yeah, this guy go all the way. It's ridiculous how fast they are. Okay, what's going on? Uh, Salt to Ramesses. I have extra spy. Amazing. Okay, what do I even do with extra spy? I could maybe... Influence different city-states. Okay, let's influence city-states, I guess. So, which city-state would be nice to influence? Uh, they are my buddies. Do they have any? Okay. Yeah, Cape Town sounds like a nice one to influence. Name and let's find Cape Town on the... Ma uh, where is Cape Town? Okay, for some reason sorting by name is not what I would expect it to be. First civilization and city-states. Okay. 
I hope to influence this place, just just get as many allies as possible. I think I reached the point where I just want maximum number of allies. I mean of allied city-states. Uh, this is a road, so we're gonna turn into railroad. I don't have any specific plan which order to build everything. Everybody builds railroads. That's my entire plan for workers. Other than just finishing what... Like, if they started already, they can finish what they started, but after that, everybody just builds railroads. And I want everything connected as soon as possible. Okay, so, you could maybe... Oh, that guy here. Yeah, it's probably in Osaka. Don't think I can actually convert Kyoto. Uh, this is a holy site, so I don't think that's actually going to work at all, so... Now we can purchase a Pagoda, maybe? Oh, okay, 600. That's fine, let's auto-purchase Pagoda. And I guess I could go to Neapolis? Yeah, it should be fine. Okay, which one is this? A Gatling gun? Right, uh... Just go. I think it will declare war on Ethiopia right away. Ethiopia and Zulus are fighting... What did I propose? I don't remember what I even proposed. Almaty uh, and Japan. Okay, Japan is not much of a worry because I will never fight Japan. What the hell did I propose? Like, honestly, what did I propose? World Congress. Oh, World Religion. Okay, yeah, okay, that makes sense. So... I guess they might embargo Ethiopia. <laughs> okay, so Ethiopia is gonna work, uh, vote against their own embargo. So if I get enough city-state, I actually have a chance of winning this. It's not a very high chance, but eh, might happen. In promotion, uh, yeah, just upgrade cavalry to six movement. Automatic faith purchase, that sounds amazing. So now you're going to Naples, and from there... Yeah, just railroad. Uh, just repair this first. Repairing is more important. Repairing everything, and after repairing, just build a railroad. Uh, wait, you are... Okay, yeah, that's fine. Just build a railroad now. Gatling guns. Okay, so reveal some map, and you go there. Harar seems super easy to attack. I can literally go there and attack them in one turn, so just chill out here. One, two... Okay, this is a bridge. Oh, no, no, I cannot because it's a bridge, so... Let's go like that. Another Gatling gun. A cavalry... I guess go to Adwa. Oh, no, no, I, okay, I want one, one cavalry just to, like, discover what the hell is there. Because I'm going to go to war with the Zulus at some point, and I would like to know what the hell is going on there. So, uh... Cape Town wants money. I guess I could make them be my allies. Let's sell something to Alexander. I'm not sure who's gonna buy anything. Trade T Amber for let's say fourteen, probably not twelve. Are they gonna give me twelve? Uh, nine, uh, okay. Can't say I'm amazed by this deal, but well, Kremlin, fifty percent production and building armored units, just in a city or everywhere, and one free social policy. Well, spending 12 turns of building for one social policy sounds quite amazing. Oh, what about the World Fair? So far your civilization contributed zero. Oh, okay, because they just started. That's okay, we're going just for silver, I don't really want gold. It feels like pointless fight to get gold. So, you can build a uh, stock exchange and a windmill. And show a queue and add a stock exchange. This is going to be a very, very slow episode. I'm just going to move my units here, and in the next, probably in the next one, I will start a war. And well, Addis Ababa is not actually super easy to, to crush, but it shouldn't be too hard. 
their navy is going to be like a minor annoyance. This is going to be my first naval... No, actually not. I think I have a naval uh, city somewhere already. Yeah, Kyoto is naval. I have zero ships. Should I like recruit one ship just to discover what the hell is going on here? That might be a good idea, just to buy one ship. Just one frigate or ironclad. Wait, it was moves three, moves five, moves five. Okay, well, let's get one frigate. Just to like discover this because I don't like so much fog of war. And eventually I will have to attack Japan, I guess, uh, sorry, uh, Greece. Because those bastards I can just walk to, I guess. All right, my spy. Uh, okay, so let's move you somewhere else. Let's move you to Samarkand then. Okay. Artillery, yep. So, artillery can actually shoot from very, very close. So, one, two, three. I can just put artillery here and that's amazing. Okay. This guy, yeah, start building railroads. Start building railroads, that sounds just fine. It's going to take a very long time with just this unplanned railroad expansion. I'm pretty much like expanding railroads wherever I just have like a spare worker. So there's no big plan. If I had a proper plan, that would just go much faster. But that's okay. At least I, now I know what to do with my uh, workers. Before I just had like no idea that they were just wandering around, waiting for railroads to be invented. Uh, Summer can declare one Enrico. And Samarkand is now allies of the Zulus. Mm, mildly annoying, but not a huge deal. I kind of don't like how there's like a gap in my territory, so it doesn't look nice on the map. Like, if I could like pay, I don't know, 1000 gold to just have this connected, this road, I would just probably pay this. Great engineer, ooh, nice. Can't steal from Ethiopia? Well, I don't think I can steal from anyone. Okay, so I have a great engineer. So, um, what did I want to actually build? What is this one? Uh, from every castle, blah, 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 blah. blah. Neuwaschenstein. Okay, I'm gonna rush this one. Uh, and then I'm gonna finish the Brandon Brigade in the normal way. <laughs> that just weird. Look, just feels weird to us. Okay, I'm gonna stop one wonder to build a different wonder. Okay, uh, let's just go. Right, this guy... Uh, is there a camp here? There's no camp. Okay, let's build a camp. Now... Good move. Okay, there's nobody here. I actually have open borders here, right? Okay, so there's still some time. So I could just wander around and just see what the hell is going on. Oh, they're actually attacking! Okay, so that's a bit of a problem. They're trading with the Zulus. So, you can go on a hill. You have range 1, 2, 3, so this is fine. You need to free this space for artillery, I'd say. So we go here. You can go here, artillery goes here, everything is going to be amazing. Oh yeah, uh, archaeological sites. I guess I could... Yeah, I don't want to play archaeology game, it really doesn't appeal to me. And I don't have Pagoda because... Oh, because my um, Great Prophet didn't convert Neapolis yet, so I will have Pagoda then. Alright, remind me later, that's fine. So you chill out here. So this horse... Uh, how many horses do I have? This is my only horse. I oh, no, sorry. These are my only two horses. Can I get like a unit list? There was a unit list somewhere. Military overview. Okay, that should be unit list. You have just two horses, two cavalry and six Gatling guns. It doesn't feel like a balanced army. Okay, next turn. 
But again, like, why should I balance my army? I can just make my army so amazing. And amazing is not the same as balance, right? It's just like overpowered in some ways. Oh, wait, okay, that's my bad. Uh, this guy, yeah, just move forward. Everybody move forward. There's gonna be a very aggressive push towards capital of Ethiopia. Okay, this is really good. They're fighting Venice, so they're gonna be really busy losing units. This animation doesn't look like that's the proper animation. What is your religion? Why do you buy missionaries if your religion is not your own? Oh well. It kinda feels weird to like, spread other people's religion. It makes sense historically, like... Not every country had own religion, right? So... Okay, I guess I could just take a walk. Like this is my this unit is actually key to taking Harar, so I shouldn't be like wandering around, especially not so close to enemy units. I attack like right away, the second I uh, the truce expires. Noise Russian, happiness from every castle, and I got a great merchant. What do you do, with great merchant? Constructing Louvre, right? I'm gonna take it anyway, so there's no worries here. Okay, so let's take a look at diplomatic deal history. Deal history, okay. So, Ethiopia. That was 10. Okay, in four turns is going to be end of. And where do we go? We're going to go here. So, you have to cross the river. Okay, so those artilleries can shoot right away. This guy crosses, shoots three times, and then the horsey... Okay, so I have four turns for the horsey to end horsing around. I might be able to take it first turn. It seems unlikely, but it's actually... I think it's possible. Okay, the general... I will have to move one tile forward. Because I want all my dudes to be in the range and this tile is taken, so the general has to sleep here. Okay. Just continue building railroads. And sleep here. This guy build railroads, I guess. You can build... Oh, wait, that's not repaired? God damn it, I wanted to repair this first. Oh my god, that's such, such a mistake, it's not actually connected. Oh well. Great merchant, I could send it to... I guess Cape Town is fine. I could make some city-state love me, but then again... Uh, 110... 80s... Oh, this is actually not very high. Five turns to go there. I think it's fine. Okay, let's try to improve relations with Ormus. Okay, so I will need this guy soon. Uh, why can I even jump like that? I'm not even sure. Alright, so I kind of need one more of those dudes. Uh, that's... I should, I should wiki this shit. Okay, I'm gonna wiki this. Just a short break. C5 World Fair. So let's take a look. Uh, how much do I need? With eight starting sieves, what the hell? It's world fair production. What? How much production do I need? I don't need history of that stuff. Total production needed with eight starting sieves. Okay, to calculate minimum place to obtain the world. Number of sieves that started. I don't understand this at all. Anyway, uh, I'm not even under... Huh. 
no, let's just keep going like that and go for the second place. Really no point trying to go for the first. Somebody else can take it. It's just too expensive. Alright, so go here. Yeah, keep building railroads. You can keep building railroads. Alright, this guy is in the right place, so move and... Okay, that's fine. Everybody is in um, perfect places. Okay. Did it work? It worked perfectly, so now I can go back to building pagodas. Twenty-one turns for the World Congress. Okay, so by that time, I would, it would be nice to bribe a couple more city states just to get their votes. So, Samarkand is very bribable. So they're currently allied with the Zulus, but if I send uh, spend one thousand gold on them, they will be my ally probably for the rest of the game. So that sounds just amazing. Okay. Well, that sounds... Do we need that much gold per turn? No, this is just gold. Okay, that's fine. My gold is gonna just improve so much. Oh, the hell, I just forgot to complete about the caravans, because all my caravans got wrecked by this Zulu war. That's a lot of Zulus. So Zulus also attacking Geneva. They might actually win? Like, AI is not very good at attacking, but AI is also not very good at defending, so it kinda evens out. Right, let's just queue some caravans. Where do you want to queue some caravans? Like, those guys don't seem to be doing anything super useful. World Fair update. Uh, okay, let's have a policy. So the next policy is going to be science from hydro plants, probably. Or happiness from factories and stuff. Okay, let's go for science right now. So, you will build the caravan. Okay, you're building a frigate. So after the frigate you can build... Maybe a cargo ship, actually. I think some of them actually had missions to connect... Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, okay, let's just build some cargo ships afterwards. And after that you can build... I guess... Uh, I guess I can contribute to the World Fair, or I could just build amphitheater for some cult free culture. Okay. Okay, so I'm 244. Should I go for the first place? Like, what do I get? Double culture? Like, how much culture is this? So, double culture for... 20 turns! That sounds amazing. Maybe I should go for it. Yeah, let's go for first place. Okay, I think everybody's in the right places. Uh, I have three turns to return. So, let's just go here, and next turn, okay, now I'm returning. Right, this guy, let's start building railroads. This guy should also start building railroads. This guy, I build this camp. It also feels that this guy should return quite soon. This is the edge of the map, amazing. The city state on the edge of the map. Okay, so I think I just discovered how to get there, so just like one turn maybe to walk around and then start returning. So this is a big river crossing, so this role is actually not that great. I mean, not until... Should I convert Adva? It's not crazy to convert Adva. Because converting Kyoto is kind of foolish. Yeah, let's use my last charge on Adwa. Or I guess Hong Kong? Nah, let's do Adwa, that's fine. 
let's not worry too much about this stuff. Okay, just stay here. Oh, this guy. Okay, so let's move like that. Like, they might suspect something, right? Like, I suspect something. <laughs> uh, what's up? Uh, nah, just bullying other city-states. I never do that. Like, I usually don't go for one city-state, I go for all the city-states at once, so... In this case, it makes no sense to bully one, because you gain something from one city-state and then you lose something from some other, other city-state. Okay, let's just continue until I can actually declare war. Public declaration from Japan, protecting Bratislava, protecting Kabul. That's fine. Like, those notifications are fine, but when I try to play with 10 sieves, I think this was just too much. The entire game was too much. Oh my god, I'm running out of coal. Okay, this is a surprising event. Uh, I think I'm trading away most of my coal. Let's actually show me. Uh, there's something about coal resource list. Uh, eight coal experts. Yay! Finally, killed two spies. I should tell them that I actually like them. Okay, Egypt. Ah, uh, and now I'm. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so connected all, everything. Oh my god, I just lost so much gold per turn just by being slow on this. Like, I should have rushed this somehow. Maybe even bought an extra worker just to. And that will return, like, all my costs. Okay, there's nothing here. And nothing here, that's fine. Okay. Okay, that should make them mostly Catholic then. Did it work? Yeah, it worked. Right, and now I have to go back. So... Yeah, let's go back. So, is that going to be an icon when I actually connect them to my rail network? I don't remember. Would be nice to actually pillage all those bastards as a revenge for them pillaging me. Okay, we get oil next turn, so... Hopefully. By the way, like, I feel in the terms of resources, like, coal is probably the most important one, and then maybe oil. Like, I never care about any others. Like... There's never enough, like, there's never, like, shortage of iron. And finish Louvre for me. So I'm gonna get Louvre soon. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna forgive you that. And I forgive you. I'm just such a nice and forgiving person. And, oh, I'm gonna get, like, a gold knife soon. Call from Kabul. Oh, thank you very much. I needed some call. Okay, so I think two more turns. So Can't steal from Ethiopia. What would you like to research next? Okay, so I'd like to research next combustion. Uh, oh wait, do I have any oil? I don't have any oil. Where's my oil? Oil, oil... I guess I could pay Ormus to develop oil. Give a gift, improve oil. Okay, that's... Worked. There's some coal, but this is outside the borders, so... Wait, what are you doing? Oh no, this is Shoshone borders, okay. Let's take a quick look, if I can improve anyone. A Samarkand has some coal. Now they already connected it. And they're not my ally yet. Kabul has some coal, but I think they already connected. Is this all my oil? Bratislava has oil. Okay, so let's give a gift of developing a resource. Okay, now I have nine oil. That's just amazing. Uh, I could bribe Sidon maybe. Alright. Everything is just going fine. So, open technology. Combustion is the next one, and after that... Let's take a look. Stadium, hotel, offshore platform. Eiffel Tower. Flight. Flight is okay, but it's not, like, amazing. Combined arms is a tank, so I guess I could go for combined arms. Like, those dudes are going to be useful. So, like that. Combustion and then combined arms. 
Or is like plastic? No, no, no. Okay, combustion and plastics. That's much nicer. So get research labs, spam research labs. Okay, that's gonna work better. At least tiny bit better. Unit? Uh, this unit. Okay, so let's take a look at the list of... If anybody wants a city-state connection, Melbourne wants one. Melbourne is... Uh, where's Melbourne? Melbourne is here, so I need to first uncover some of the fog of war, probably. Or maybe not. Let's actually take a look. Can I connect to Melbourne? Because I honestly do not know. Um, Melbourne... I should probably check the... this way. M. Uh, how the alphabet even goes? I think it's before Naples. Melbourne... Kyoto Melbourne! Yes, I can! Okay, so that's gonna be Kyoto Melbourne connection. So let's go back to the list. And let's take a look at what's the most profitable one. So... Rome... Pohokwi... Is it already established? Nope. So let's rebase you to Rome. We're basically to Rome and send you to Pohokwi, and that's going to be just amazing. Okay, you can stay here. Kinda would like you a bit closer. Like, this style would be really nice. Okay, so... Right, just, just go here. No, I... No, no, that's bad. Uh, go here, I guess. Also bad. Oh, well, I don't have to take this in the first turn, right? I can just do it in the second turn. Okay. Some more railroads. Yeah, this guy would be nice to actually go home. Unless the Zulus are going to give me open borders, but that sounds somehow unlikely. So, to go to Naples? Yeah, go here. Then just jump through Hong Kong, that's fine. So, this guy, okay, go to... Oh, wait, that is... Shoshone territory. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be kinda hard to actually get to almost. We'll figure something out. I kinda wonder if like Shoshone or Japan is going to just... They're gonna attack me just to spite me. Not for any objective reason. It could happen. Probably won't, but it could happen. Yeah, they're still healing up after the nasty war. Okay, so I can just move one tile and then just jump. Where are they going? Are they going to war with someone? Oh yeah, finally. Okay, now I have some space to go. People who like shiny things. Alright. So, I still don't have my... Peace deal... Uh, over. Oh, and now I have extra trade routes, so I'm just gonna get one more cargo ship. So let's take a look at this. So I have 500. Yeah, so I'm going in the first place then. 65%. Might happen. Eh, really hard to say. Uh, let's take a look at uh, Addis Ababa. East India Company. Okay, so they're not working on the World Fair. Okay. Let's go here, I guess. Mostly because I can shoot anyone who's on my way. So stay there. Is it rail connected now? It's gonna even tell me if this is connected by rail. Like, how would I even know? Production. Uh, rail connection, okay, so uh, there's no icon for this, it's just an icon for uh, road connection. So there's a rail connection here as well, but it just doesn't tell me at all. Okay, so I'm gonna send you to... Let's hide this stuff, send you to... Pohokwi for most gold. Yeah, I finally have buckets of gold, just as I wanted. I always wanted buckets of gold in my life, this was one thing missing from my life. Buckets of gold, because that's how gold works, right? You just buy it in buckets. Uh, right? <laughs> it just feels like there's too many of them. Okay, that's fine. This guy... Uh, is there anyone? That's fine. Any? I think it's just time to start popping them up. So, I could upgrade my cavalry, but not just yet. Uh, right? 
keep building. And yeah, next turn. Esta oferta no será válida por tanto tiempo. Can you do it? Pensegue. Okay. Alright, so it's nice that they keep losing the units. Oh, I could maybe take the crossbowman. Uh, sorry, the musician. And pop it up for like a great work of art. Hmm, that'd be nice. I think it'd be very nice. Also, maybe I could check like how many great works I have and if I could get some combos. I really don't like this part of the game, so maybe I just won't. I can just walk and take this guy. Sounds amazing. Where the hell did they find natural wonders? I mean, maybe there are some. I think there are like two natural wonders in the map already, so maybe there's a third somewhere. Samarkand election rigged, and now I'm friends with Samarkand. That's good. Peace Street expired. With Kathmandu? Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Are they allied with Kathmandu? Yeah, they allied. And, no, nah, that's too expensive. I guess I can go to War of Kathmandu for now. So I'm gonna give you a gift, and yep, amazing. So now I should send this guy, I guess, to Kathmandu. Or to Melbourne. Melbourne actually sounds nicer because I'm gonna get some bonus from Melbourne, and I should stack this bonus with more bonuses. Right, so let's continue building railroads. Continue building railroads. That seems like there's enough railroads here, so... Uh, yeah, I can't actually use them as archaeologists, sadly. It feels like they should do everything, so they could maybe archaeologize something. So... get some extra relations with them, so then it goes to 101. So I could capture this guy, or I could capture Harar. Okay, so I have... Let's check if I can somehow get to Melbourne. So this is like a discovery mission. They not this is not actually a warship. It just looks like a warship. This is Ethiopia. Okay, I'm actually get attacked by Ethiopia. Oh well, big deal. All right, I think I'm gonna end the episode now. In the next episode, obviously, I'm going to attack Ethiopia. So thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye.